I'm ready. <laughs> All right, yeah. and go. I'm Adam Meyerson. I am the president of the Vittoria Northeast Cyclocross Series presented by Cliff Bar. We're here at Stage 4 Park in Gloucester uh, for the 19th time, which is pretty incredible. And we're going to, there's lots of co changes to the course this year. Um, same venue, lots of new lanes, not, lots of new turns. And we're going to take you on a lap and show you all the new, new stuff out there. Playback! <laughs> Okay, here we are at the start of the GP Gloucester. Legendary view, legendary start. Uh, long uphill curves to the left, paved uh, to the top of the climb, and uh, lots of room to move around. You hit that hill, guys that start fast often stall at the start. Lots of room to come back around late. So, course is open to traffic right now. We may have some cars driving around, but we should be able to get a good look at it. You come through the finish line at the start. And that's here on your right, next to the Shimano tent. So it's an uphill sprint. We'll get that on the next time around. And then just as you crest the paved climb, you make a quick duck to the right into the grass. Hey guys. In past years, you would have turned to the right here this year we go to the left and continue downhill onto the pavement briefly and then onto this section off camber high speed big off camber sweeper short u-turn and a tight off-camber uphill sweeper back onto the pavement. Here you climb back up on the pavement. Past years, this was the day two sprint for the finish, but this year you duck back into the grass and pick up some familiar lanes from previous years. This year, the construction to the gravel path along the water is completed, and so a section that's been missing for a few years is back. Hard off camber turn, a bit of a drop off, and on to the new boardwalk. This is the old gravel road, and you can see we're riding along the water as a stiff headwind. This is classic Gloucester racing on the edge of the water into the old steep run up that we haven't used for a couple seasons. It's a right hand turn and up. Some old stone stairs, dirt at the top. Still uphill out of the top of the run. Lots of the old tight turns have been widened, made faster, and as a result, are actually more difficult. Very easy now on this course to get greedy with speed, crash on the exit. These lanes will be familiar, similar to previous years. Big sweeper into the stairs. Grass is dry and bumpy. This is the run up next to the beer tent. And this year you go left at the top rather than right.
This leads into the series of off-camber S-turns up and down the hill. The second one leads into a flight of stairs. And another off-camber tight S-turn. Drops you down to the pit. That's the first pass through the pit. This leads you into an off camber with a set of barriers, very high barriers. Remount and drop down into a fast sweeping left hand turn. onto some lanes that we've done backwards in the past but are more challenging in reverse. Here's a completely new section. Some U-turns in the grass. to some completely new trails. Already getting rutted. Back to the gravel path, but with a little surprise pop-up detour. It's sure to cause people some difficulty. Here's one of the open pedaling sections. Up the dirt climb. Couple line choices here. Different ways to go. Again, stiff headwind. Long pedaling section along the water. If you get gapped, coming out of the technical section, You'll have a chance to pedal your way back up or get gapped off for good if you were hanging on. Then you have a series of twisty, grassy turns. They'll get greasy if it rains, though they don't really ever get muddy. We are racing on a big rock, after all. Some S turns that lead back to the sand and then a new sand section new entrance, bit of a drop, and then soft sand, definitely places to make mistakes. And then another wide open pedaling section back up the climb, gentle climb that you just came down, sort of a false flat. Second passage to the pit. Two right turns on the pavement into the finish stretch. But unlike traditional, years there's a little dog leg that we're going to make before the finish on day one though it'll be wide open on day two and here's that section it's got a bit stair in it i've been hopping it some people will have to run that it's not a hard hop but if you mess it up you'll definitely puncture or crack a rim so you have to be careful about that. And then on to the finish.
so in summary, uh, that was my third lap of the course, so I'm really not seeing it too many more times than you will have at this point, but I think what we saw out there were a lot of pedaling, a lot more open lanes, uh, but those open lanes with room to pedal hard can lead to slide outs, blown turns, yeah, blown exits, uh, lots of places to crash, lots of places to uh, make stupid passes and have people make stupid passes on you. So I would um, be cautious about those things. I think there'll be some group racing. I think you can divide the course up essentially into uh, almost halves. Half of it is very technical and half of it is a lot of pedaling. So um, look to make your advantage in the technical parts and then uh, hold on to wheels in the pedaling sections or vice versa. If you're not great in the technical stuff but you're real strong, try to make those attacks uh, and make up ground in those pedaling sections and then try not to lose much of that ground. Uh, in the technical parts, but I think something for everybody out here. Um, we're going to have great weather this weekend, and uh, hope we'll see you out here.